Greetings, beloved brothers and sisters. This one was always fascinated by a poster he saw many years ago that said, even if you're on the right track, if you just sit there, sooner or later you'll be hit by a train. The nature of love and the nature of life is one of constant, constant expansion and creation. It doesn't stop. What seems to stop it is the ego's idea or concept of the way things are or the way things should be or the way things will be. But life never really stops moving. And at the same time, it's completely still. The two things operate at the same time. Many, many years ago, this one read a book called The Star Seed Transmissions. It was in the 1970s. He was very inspired by it because at the end of the book, it kind of said what was going to happen to the earth. It sounded bizarrely unbelievable at the time, but recently he has reconnected with that idea that the earth has a consciousness and the beings on the earth are rising in consciousness and will awaken. So there has been much talk about moving from 3D to 5D and the awakening of all souls and and all of this has filled him with a kind of hope. And at the same time, the ego has heard this and has said, oh, I get it. This sounds great. we're all going to awaken. Of course, the ego has no idea what's really happening, but thinks it does. And so this one has been comforted, not only by the experiences in meditation and channeling and connecting with like-minded souls, but subtly comforted by the story that he has told himself. And that story, unfortunately, gives the illusion of stopping on the tracks. On the right track, but just sitting there, waiting for the story that the ego believes is true to unfold. And the story goes like this. Jimmy will meditate and stay connected to Jesus and pretty soon in his lifetime he and everyone on the planet will ascend and this will be the final act, the final go round and it will happen maybe in the next decade and something big and maybe cataclysmic will happen, but that will just speed up the awakening. And this is the show. This is the final round and he's in it. Well, it's a comforting thought, but there's no more reality in that dream than in any other dream. And it doesn't work to stop and rest on a concept or an idea any more than it does to be stuck in the Bible story. So the other day, he was perusing YouTube and he heard a channeling of some 
a woman who was channeling beings who were talking about what it would be like and what it is like to live on your earth in the year 2170 or something. And she's describing all these things and the Pleiadians and And as he's listening to this, his whole story is falling apart. And he thinks, wait a minute, wait a minute. 2170, the earth is still here. People are on the earth and they're, and she was describing, you know, how it was like looking back right now at people who lived in the 1850s and wondering how they could, possibly manage the way they did. And she said, people in the future look back at us and say, those people really pay for energy? They pay for energy? Anyway, after he listened to a little bit more of this, he couldn't take it anymore and he turned it off and he started to get depressed. And he thought, wait a minute, this doesn't fit my pictures at all. 2170, I won't be here. Obviously identifying with his body, which he thought would be there for the awakening in the next decade. Anyway, all of this was very upsetting, very off-putting, and it, it broke a dream. It just it was a happy dream, but it busted apart. And he doesn't know whether that channeling was accurate or not. But what he did see was that he can't just sit there living in concepts, anticipating a future that his ego made up and then deriving comfort from that. Eventually, all dreams have to end, even good ones. So where is comfort? Where is safety? Where can that be found? As it turns out, it's only found in the moment. It's only found in your true connection with source. And if you release the idea of how it's supposed to look, And the preposterous notion that you understand time and you understand anything from that ego perspective. What you get to do is stay in this heavenly, sacred, miraculous moment and derive your safety right now. Not when your pictures come true. Not when you and all your friends who've been doing all your homework with the way of mastery ride this wave into 5D or whatever concept your ego has constructed. But right now, the kingdom of heaven is available to you right now. Ascension is available to you right now. Stay with this. Find your safety in this. Go deeper and deeper into this. Bring this with you into your present circumstances. And be the light of the world now. There lies your safety. There lies your happiness. There lies your peace. There lies your breath, your sacred breath. Allow yourself to relax into that. It's the only game in town. I love you very much. And I'll speak with you again.